Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. So I started recording, but I think I forgot to turn on the camera or something happened. So I have to start over. So I'm going to do my best to channel this message as authentically as I can. Um, so I just wanted to be straightforward with you all, but there's a very important message that I need to get out there. There's a woman out here and the word sinister is short, it's not even capable of exp uh, of emphasizing how evil and barbaric this woman is, that is planning some type of hit or is ordering hits out here for another energy. This is either somebody's ex-wife or soon-to-be ex-wife or somebody's soon-to-be ex-girlfriend that is out here ordering hits on another feminine energy and this all has to do with the fact that one there's some type of colorism that's happening so she could have a problem with this other woman's skin color or just whoever who she is as far as her being either a light worker or whatever this is there's something where she is like hiring young young brothers to go and do something knowing very well that if they go and do whatever it is that she's hiring them to do they're going to be losing their freedom um and it's going to be a situation of a, another situation of one a mother uh losing her child to the prison system a child losing their father to the prison system another brother sitting in prison where he can't really do nothing contribute nothing to his life or to society or to his family nothing of that nature but this woman does not care i think initially she was trying to work with older gentlemen to something and maybe they backed out of it they're trying to do something different with their life um because when you get older you try you tend to see life from a different and higher perspective so maybe Maybe they don't want to be a part of whatever it is she's wanting them to do. So now she has uh, moved her attention to younger men into in their like 20s, their 30s. People that haven't even had the chance to live a full life yet, experience life or nothing like that. And you know people in that age group, yeah, they say they're adults and things like that, but they really don't understand life quite fully yet and don't necessarily have the tools yet to put two and two together to understand that if I go and do this to this person, I could end up losing my freedom. I could end up losing my life. I don't get to build the life I've ever wanted. If they have children, they, they don't get to see those kids anymore more um their mom mothers will be out here you know just broken hearted fathers and things like that they don't put two and two together like that and whoever this woman is that i'm picking up on this is someone very sinister very cold like the devil incarnate is not even good enough to ex to explain how wicked some like someone is evil like the evil incarnate this woman is void of human emotions like the reason also she's trying to do this is because she says that she'll be darned to live in a world where she sees her husband uh, or her ex-husband have ultimate fulfillment with another woman, especially a dark woman or something is what I heard. So there's something about colorism that is playing a role in here. Um, and then there's just something about this woman hating the other person, hating you, the divine energy. But in reality, it's not that she hits you, she hits herself. This ha all has to do with hate. So what she's done is work from behind the scenes, got in a group of people to collaborate with her to destroy your life in a very specific way. And this is either by hitting your finances or uh, doing something to you. Because one, if she feels like you have finances, then this man feels like you are something to look at. So she's delusional enough to believe that you having finances is the reason why this man will come to you. It has nothing to do with finances. Someone probably just genuinely like you because I'm seeing the Six of Cups out here. Someone may even be aware of you with that Six of Cups, meaning that you two may have been friends in the past or this could be a past life connection that's coming into play. Um, but the thing is that she knows this man genuinely likes you and maybe their relationship ended or it never was based on romance. Maybe they got married for money. I don't know what the situation is. But there's something where this woman does not want you and this man to come together. So she's hiring people behind the scenes to take you out. I know I had a dream, uh, I think either last night, yeah, last night, where it's like there was a young brother, there were two young brothers uh, being sent to 
do something to a feminine energy because I keep hearing also a woman saying I need someone to get in there I need someone to get in either into somebody's house somebody's apartment or into somebody's condo I need somebody to get in there to do this to take care of this problem to do whatever she's ordering right so she's hiring people to to either like bust your door down take the locks away remove the locks off of your door or something like that, like that and they're probably doing things as well to make you feel uncomfortable and unsafe in your environment they may be trying to schedule some type of natural disaster like either you get shocked or something like that it's like someone is very barbaric and very evil like basically like i i don't even know the words to use besides sinister um, like someone may even have like an entity attached to them, but this woman's soul, like she's, I don't know if she's like just soulless or she just doesn't care. Like someone is like an empty vessel just walking around, don't care what she does to other people. But the sad part is that when you meet this woman, the people around her, they see her as very angelic and innocent, right? So this, this is someone that has learned how to misuse that very trick. This could be someone that's fair skin and presents herself to be wholesome. Um, like when you hear her talking, you will never assume that she's a part of something like that. Um, but she is. So there's something where this man, whoever you are, King of Pentacles, King of Swords, there will be a day when you end up moving on with your life and you end up with whoever you want to be with, uh, whatever. The both of you may be out one day and you are either going to run into a family member of hers or a friend of hers. And they will ask you why it is that you left either their cousin, their sister, their daughter, whatever it is. And that will be your opportunity to tell them straightforward what it is exactly that this woman did to you who she is behind closed doors because who a woman is behind closed doors is a complete difference from it's completely different from who she presents herself to be publicly and i think this is something you've been hiding yourself trying to uh fool the fool the world that you two are happy together but you're not really happy together you feel like i don't know if you feel trapped with this woman or something like that but that is going to be your opportunity to tell them exactly what it is this woman tried to do to you or what she did to you someone could even be trying to poison you to take you out and whatever this is so you need to be direct i don't know what it is with your mindset it seems like you tend to not want to rock the boat or something so you'll stay in unhealthy situations just to i don't know keep the peace but the peace you're keeping is for other people not for you you don't have any peace but everybody else has peace meaning this woman goes to sleep and gets a good night's sleep but you don't get no good night's sleep because you're so worried about how people are going to see something how people are going to think of you what they're going to think of you and things like that um there could also be something where she's planning to say that Whoever you are intending to go to uh, cause problems in your relationship when it's not the truth. Um, so this is something either that is holding you back. Like you're trying to make sure that when you go to the next woman, um, you're going at a time where it's like no one's going to feel that that woman was the cause of the breakup or something. Because that's the narrative your ex is going to go with that you cheated on her with someone or he cheated on me with that dark skinned girl it's something like that that he she's going to be seeing okay or he cheated on me with that star c that, that's what she calls herself or something like that or she he cheated on me with that empress that's what she calls herself it's something like that um so I think because you know how this woman moves, it's why you are afraid to even go towards the person you're interested in because you know. The first thing she's going to tell people is, oh, he left me because of her. She split up our relationship. But when in reality, this woman had nothing to do with you all's breakup. Uh, the woman may not even know you. The, the, the person you're interested in may not even know you. Uh... Maybe never even had a conversation with you or maybe if it, if she had a conversation with you, it, it was probably something that was from a professional standpoint. But whoever you are with or you are leaving, 
it's, it's going to be telling people the complete opposite. I don't know if this woman tried to steal from you as well. Um, and this is something that you're going to have to accept wholeheartedly. And maybe she got other people to work with her to steal from you. Um, but instead of you walking around and pretending like everything is okay, everything is this and everything is that, you need to be straightforward with yourself. There's something where it's like, there's a complete difference between your relationship you have with this woman and the relationship you're going to have with the person that you're going towards. It is like night and day, right? Whoever you were with, you did not have ultimate fulfillment with. And you know that. So maybe I'm here to tell you the truth and put it in words because it's that you're in denial or something. It's kind of like being in a karmic situation for a long time and you get comfortable in that karmic situation and because you become comfortable in that karmic situation you just accept it for what it is you know you're not fulfilled but hey i know this person i've been around them for long enough i don't want to have to start my life over so blah 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 right but it's karmic you're not happy she's probably more happy than you are because you're miserable and she knows you're miserable and she's okay with it uh, this could be someone that maybe you lavished with a lot of gifts and things like that. And that's probably why she was with you in the first place. It's because you have money. You're showing up as a king of pentacles. It's not because like she genuinely cared about you. It's because it was for money. Um, and if you try to bring stuff up like this to her that I know you're just with me for money. She got answers ready for you. So whatever it is that you are trying to hide, it's just it's not even feasible to keep doing that. It's like when if people have like two senses to rub together and they see you, they'll know you're not happy. Uh, they know something is up, but maybe the people around you also are collaborating with this woman. So they're not going to maybe encourage you to go and find happiness, ultimate fulfillment somewhere else. Um, maybe they're benefiting from you being in, an, in a loveless relationship. You could have like a couple of guy friends that maybe care about you that may tell you, hey, go and you know let go of that woman and go live your life or something go start over go you know do some do what makes you happy you may have a couple of guy friends that tell you that but there are people in your proximity that are working with this crazy woman to have you stuck with her um and they don't care because they're benefiting from it in some type of financial way now the person you are going to because you're showing up as the king of pentacles the king of pentacles typically tend to value family they're very big on family uh kids happy kids and basically happy life happy home and things like that very quiet life and things like that right that's what's important to you now you got the ten of cups and the six of cups out here so that'll let me know that the both of you whoever you're going towards value the same things uh so that family reciprocity uh being on the same page having actual emotions involved in what it is you have with the other person it's not just based on uh convenience it's not based on comfort uh, as far as I'm comfortable with this person, even though they're karmic, they're toxic. That's who I am with. It is what it is. It's not that. What you're going to have with the person that you're going towards is ultimate fulfillment, happiness. And it may be something that scares you um, initially because you're so used to being in a karmic environment, i.e. relationship. It's going to take you a little while to get acclimated to the new person because they're not going to have all of those toxic tricks there's something where it's like your mental has been clouded as far as as far as what a confident woman is uh, uh, or an assertive woman is now whoever is around you or has been around you is neither confident nor assertive this is someone playing pretend playing a role confident women are not toxic they're not demanding they're not karmic uh, they're not pushy. They don't get out here ordering hits on other women. They're not intimidated by other women. They don't care what color another woman is, what hair she has, uh, body shape, none of that. They don't care about nothing that has to do with another woman. As a matter of fact, their main thing is to focus on themselves. And if it has to do with an outside energy that they got to put their attention onto, it is literally to uplift them. So if they see another woman, it's literally, you look beautiful, keep your head up, something like that. But as far as getting into that woman's personal life, 
going to figure out what's going on with her or working with other energies to destroy that other woman. That is not confidence. That is delusional. Okay. That is, uh, 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 that is dark. That's manipulative. So whoever you've been with is very conniving. I don't know if this cloud of your judgment to make you think that that's how women move. Women don't move like that. That's little girl stuff. That's insecure little girls doing things like that and it don't matter how old they are it's insecure and immature as heck and it's a self-hate that she is projecting onto another woman okay so what you, you what you are about to go through is quite a transition you are going from dark to light basically and maybe you're going through some type of court case right now because i see the three of pentacles out here you may be going through a court case and I don't know if maybe someone tried to steal your money. They collaborated with people to steal your money and things like that. Or you're finding some truths out that are just very horrendous for you to accept and whatever this is. Um, but this is necessary for your ascension, for your improvement. After this experience, you will have a higher understanding of life and the people around you who you need to give your loyalty to. There's something I'm hearing about who you gave to as well because it king of pentacles there tend to be people that are very giving and it can be very easy for people to take advantage of you all uh and i've never quite understood why the king of pentacles are that way it could be that maybe because you have a lot of money you don't think twice about who you're giving it to but it could be something where it's like this woman that you've been with has had a whole operation going on around you, been gatekeeping you for a long time, and you didn't know that. And people have been misusing you for finances and things like that. And all of that is going to be put to a halt once you go through this karmic cycle, complete, complete it, and then end up maybe healing and not maybe end up healing and getting in uh, your new beginning with your new partner. Who maybe they may be uh, with the ace of source out here could be someone that's very straightforward, very direct, could be someone that's like a gift from God to you or something. So they'll up you, they'll hip you on game. Like who around you, you need to not be giving to. Be cautious of what you're investing into and things like that. And that may be part of the reason why people don't even want you with this person because they could be someone that's very sharp minded. They're going to see people for who they are and they're going to tell you exactly what it is someone is trying to do to you or why they're asking you for money or why they're telling you about a situation about their child being sick or whatever it is so they, they can they can get some type of uh, emotional reaction out of you and you can offer them some money. A lot of the times that's what they're doing around you and maybe you haven't picked up on that. Okay, so. Um, what we also have out here, I just, I needed to explain that because I just keep picking up on this sinister energy, feminine energy that's just hiring different hits. It says she hires one person to do something. They don't do it. They change their mind and she hires another person. And she says she's going to keep hiring people until she can find someone to get the job done. The job ain't never going to get done, but before that job gets done, you're going to be like in your sick bed in your grave and gone out of here whoever you're trying to take out you ain't never going to take out man so you might as well just stop with the nonsense like you, you you need to go and get some help mental help emotional help like go get therapy because it's very it's, it's it, you got to be a special kind of lunatic to be taking money out of your account to go and pay people to harm another person so that Two people don't end up in a relationship, okay? It, it, it makes no sense, but whatever mindset you are in, lady, go ahead, keep popping up because something is about to happen that is going to be so embarrassing for you, it won't even make sense. There's also a woman in a community, a queen of pentacles or in a community that's been doing a little bit too much. I ain't even gonna, even gonna go into her energy. I'm gonna stick on this ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, whoever this is, soon to be ex-wife, soon to be ex-girlfriend, whatever this is. Um, but as far as tarot, let's go ahead and get into that. We got the truth coming out about a group, some type of collaboration that's been taking place. As far as trying to steal something from a feminine energy or a masculine energy, or just trying to steal or stop some type of relationship from coming together, right? We got the Ten of Cups coming out here with that Knight of Swords coming before. That means that there is someone trying to take some type of action to stop these two from connecting, from meeting. They're trying to keep this King of Pentacles trapped in some type of 
horrific or toxic re relationship that he's not happy in. Someone is trying to trap you. They could be very angry with you right now because you're being practical about a situation and moving on with your life. Uh, you could be someone that uh, has gone through healing or you are going through healing. You're walking away, right? Uh, to find healing or to stay healed, stay on your path and things like that. Have this fresh start somewhere else. Uh, so you got people out here. The truth is out. But what it is they've been doing, what they've been invested in, right? Uh, and that you are someone that maybe you're trying to balance things out in your in your life or balance things out. Um, for someone else or with somebody else and you got a group that's been working against you There could be something in the court system as well. That's being uh, Balanced out so you could be going through some type of divorce proceedings right now and the divorce is going to go in your favor as well um, After the divorce, I believe then you're going to be partnering up with whoever it is You want to partner up with so that you can move on with your life put an end to this karmic cycle you're going through some type of karmic completion right now. It may feel really scary, really terrifying. Uh, it, maybe you even feel alone in this uh, situation, in this experience. You're not alone. Uh, your ancestors are with you. Your angels are with you. You are protected. There is something where it's that you're also worried about the person that you are wanting to partner up with as well. There's some type of, I don't know if you're aware of what it is they're planning for this woman or what they're trying to do to this woman. Um, uh, so it's like you're worried about that, but then you got like a big fish to fry. You got bigger fish to fry with this divorce or separation that you are going through in the court system. Or this could be something where, uh, people did something to you, tried to steal something from you or stole something from you. And you are trying to, uh, make sure that you get it back. All right. It could be some type of illusion going on. It may have stole resources from you. Uh, something was left to you. I don't know what it is, but uh, it's going to go in your favor. The truth is out. Uh, people know exactly what's going on. Uh, so please don't be walking around with a facade. You need to walk away to abundance, to happiness, and things like that. And that's what they've been trying to block. I see a lot of uh, advocacy cards in here. So maybe you're advocating for yourself or on behalf of somebody else. You're taking action to balance something out for a queen of wands. Maybe this is someone you find very attractive. This is not someone I've seen as very toxic. This is someone I see as an uh, energy you see you hold very dear to you. You may hold them in very high regards. And this could be someone uh, maybe that's a bit younger than you. Um, but it's okay. And I don't know if this has to do with love or just the both of you working together. But I do see the Ten of Cups, Six of Cups out here. And then with the temperance out here. So this could be something that has to do with a lot of emotions and things like that. And you hold this person very dear to your heart. You may worry about them a lot. Uh, but with them showing up in the Queen of Wands energy, I don't think this is someone that's like a, a, a chicken or someone that's like weak and feeble. Uh, so you may worry a lot for no reason. But it's just that you want to make sure that nothing is wrong with this person. But someone protects themselves or they're they are protected you could be doing something to protect them from behind the scenes which i'm pretty sure that the universe will appreciate you for doing that um but i see something about you worrying about this person a lot um or worrying about coming to worse than how they're going to view you what they're going to say uh you may have some type of confession that you have to make um to them or something i don't think it's going to be something where someone is cursing you out i don't think that queen of wands is like that it's not something where they're going to be yelling at you or anything like that. It's more so them sitting and listening to you. They may even ask you like questions that leave you thinking and things like that. But I don't think it's going to be something where they're like hateful towards you. You could have another energy around you, feminine energy around you, Queen of Wands that's reversed, that's around you. You need to be very cautious of someone very reckless. Uh, she could be taking some type of impulsive action to try to steal something from you and or lie try to get away with something she's been working with a group uh behind your back and things like that uh so just throw it with caution so it's like you're transitioning from a queen of pen queen of wands possibly queen of pentacles reverse to a queen of wands queen of pentacles in the upright so um it's like the complete opposite which is exactly what i was saying about assertive women and things like that there's something where you've gotten used to being around a specific kind of women that are very toxic and karmic, misleading. They have some type of distorted mindset about what confidence is and what 
what uh, assertiveness is and it's nothing of what it is they are displaying. What they are displaying as far as uh, womanhood is very disgusting and it's very dishonorable. This is not something that I would like see my, if I saw my child, like I have a, a middle, I have a four year old daughter and a, a 14 year old daughter. If I saw any of them out here, either of them out here behaving the way that I pick up on these women, I would be very much ashamed and just embarrassed because women don't treat other women like that and women don't get with men for the reasons that these kind of, these kind of women get with men. Uh, so it's some type of misleading persona that they've given you and maybe you've been around them for so long that you believe that that's how women are supposed to be. Like they're supposed to be loud and rah, rah, rah. You think that the louder a woman is and that means that she's a Assertive. Being loud has nothing to do with assertiveness. It's actually, it's the complete opposite. The loudest one in the room is usually the most insecure one. Okay? I'm telling you. <laughs> I split the deck on the three of swords. The loudest one in the room is always the insecure one. That's the one that wants to prove that she's the best of them all. She da, 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 da. It has nothing to do with that. Uh, assertive woman, you'll never see none of that. You may even think that they are a pushover, but it's just the way they go about things. They don't got time to be beating around the bush with you, going back and forth and things like that. Uh, if they need to, they will, but they'll do it in a way where it's, it's still tactful. It's not something where they're calling you out of your name, this is it, this. Um, there's something where a woman got you with her fake persona, her absolute fake persona. Okay. And maybe she's upset that you are choosing to move on with your life. You're not giving her an offer, whatever the situation is. And it's justice on your part to be walking away. Okay. Yeah, exactly. They're very angry, very upset that you are giving this offer or whatever you're investing in this person. Uh, and this is going to help them leave some type of situation because I see the five of pentacles out here. Someone is going to be leaving some type of situation that people have been like purposely putting them in. So what I'm picking up on is like people doing things to hinder other people's finances because they want to keep you living in poverty. So then while they're living in poverty, this woman, this moron, and her other friends, they'll come to you and tell you, oh, we told you this person, he don't got no money. She don't got no money. He's broke, busted, and disgusted. He's out in the streets and he's this. The whole time, it's because of what they're doing to this person behind the scenes. We told you this person was sick. The whole time, they're not sick. It's just that what it is these people are doing to this person behind the scenes may make them come across as sick. So it's something like that that's going on that you are, that you need to be aware of. Uh, you could be an emperor as well in your think of pentacles energy uh, and you are listening you're being advised to listen to your intuition right now with this queen of swords coming out uh, and whoever you're trying to go towards could be a queen of swords as well but what i'm really picking up on is that you are listening to your intuition you could be someone that's very sharp like you're you got the ace of swords and the a queen of swords with you you're very intellectual you could be like a genius or something and also what i'm uh, hearing is that even though you are very smart there's something about the energy that you are going towards that maybe you don't even understand uh so you could be baffled at this energy that you are going towards you say uh i know quite a lot but there's something i just can't get my hands on when it comes to you so maybe you may have a lot of uh, questions for this woman when you go towards her uh, with the temperance out here, you two may end up having conversations about spirituality, whatever this is. I don't know if it's something that makes you feel uncomfortable or this is something about this woman that you don't like or whatever. I don't know what it is. I'm probably off on that one. But there's going to be some type of conversation between the two of you that's going to lead to some type of clarity and understanding um, maybe that you haven't had before. You may have a misconception about what that woman does or why she does it is what I'm hearing. But there's going to be some type of clarity between the two of you that's going to help you both step a little bit more confidently in 
uh, your new beginning, okay? And I don't know what the new beginning is. I'm just assuming it has something to do with relationship with the Ten of Cups out here and that Six of Cups. It could have something to do with work. You are showing up as the King of Pentacles. There is the Page of Pentacles. We got the Five of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. So it could be something that has to do with work or it could be both as well. So whatever it is you two end up having together, it will be very much uh, fulfilling. Oh, we got an empress in reverse. So you could be going through some type of separation uh, with an empress in reverse. Maybe she's trying to force things to go her way. Uh, so this could be a divorce proceeding that you're going through. And whoever this woman is, you need to be very cautious of. This could be someone that's hire, uh, hiring people behind the scenes to do someone something. Maybe you have clarity now or you're listening to your intuition about this empress in reverse and keeping your distance from her. Yeah. You're standing your ground against this woman. This could be someone you were married to before. You were looking for something traditional, but it was not traditional. You could have a very traditional mindset as well, um, but you don't want that to be something that hinders you or blocks you from having ultimate fulfillment in life. It's okay to be traditionally mind, uh, have a traditional mindset, but not to the extent where you're trying to force a persona or a personality onto whoever it is you are intending to go towards you gotta let people be themselves if you at the end of the day find out that this woman is very genuine she's very nurturing and is kind takes care of the home you your children whatever does her part and genuinely loves you that's all that matters how you know what she Puts on should not be a big problem for you. This is not someone I'm picking up on that is going to be entertaining other people around you. This is not someone I feel like cares to have options and things like that. So someone showing up as the Queen of Wands may just be someone that's very beautiful, but that does not mean that they exploit that nature of themselves. So you have to be cautious not to let your traditional mindsets uh uh, 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 imprisoning this woman, okay? There's something that's very big about freedom um, with this woman being able to do, because I see the Knight of Swords out here being able to move as she wants to, being able to live as she wants to, but it's not to, like, your detriment. It's not to do anything that's going to uh, embarrass you or anything like that. It's just a, a thing that, uh, it's just a matter of this woman being able to express herself and live freely with that Knight of Swords to her, she um like that's like someone that's self-minded so if you go and put them in like a living situation where they can't do that they can't do that they can't do that they can't do this it makes them feel in prison and you become a problem for them you become the enemy like you're not there to control them let them be them and they'll let you be you uh i don't that's what i'm being told to tell you okay so you will be healing right now and moving on and you're being advised to listen to your intuition when it comes to this queen of, I mean, this empress in reverse. I, I, I always get very much alarmed when I see an empress show up in reverse. It's like, what in the world have you been up to? It could just be also that you and her are not together, so she's no longer your empress. Um, that could be the reason, or it could just be that this woman is unhinged. This is someone you were in a very comic relationship with. Uh, and she's been trying to hold on to you for a long time, trying to stop you from going, trying to stop you from moving on, trying to stop you from listening to your intuition, trying to keep you trapped and in this divorce proceedings for a very long time. They have even been paying lawyers behind the scenes to not expose the truth about what it is she's been doing, why the divorce proceedings has been taking so long and things of that nature. It's been quite a lot going on behind the scenes of you. I don't know if maybe you were advised by someone before to be very much aware of what was going on with this person and you didn't listen and something has come back to bite you in the behind. And I don't know if you also went and partnered up with a Queen of Wands reverse and something came back to bite you in the behind. Um, but it's a lesson learned. Every situation is a lesson to be learned in it. You just have to be willing to learn the lesson uh, and be able to move on with your life. But 
I see someone very worried about you having fulfillment in life, happiness in life, material abundance, and things like that in life. But this is the judgment for you. You are going to be very fulfilled. So I could be talking to a king of pentacles. You're going to be very happy. There's some type of new offer, new blessing that's coming towards you. And I feel like it's this woman that's been sent to you, being given to you as a gift from the most high. This is destiny playing out for you. It will be ultimate fulfillment for you. And it's going to have people disappointed because this is going to be a relationship that is going to be of wish fulfillment. Right, equal give and take something that you two are going to pour into each other and the most high is pouring into both of you as well. People are very angry at you being happy and I'm not sure why that is, okay? You could have people watching you, so be careful. People are watching your move, trying to see where it is you're going, what you're planning to do, who you're talking to, when you're leaving. Be careful that people are not trying to do you something, do something to your car. So have you end up in like a freak accident or something like that, just be very cautious, okay? Be very cautious. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you'll have ultimate fulfillment. I'm telling you, she's trying to keep you from having happiness. She don't want you to be single. She wants you to stay with her and be miserable. She's trying to probably interfere with your abundance as well. So if you're someone that's very wealthy, she's trying to tip you for all that you've got in the court case, the divorce proceedings or whatever this is. I remember a few months ago, I picked up on a divorce proceeding. So this could be the same divorce proceeding that's uh, still going on or it's almost over. But she's trying to keep you from ha having, having, excuse me, happiness. She does not want you uh being with a higher level soulmate because someone is very miserable uh and hates themselves so she wants you to be miserable and to hate yourself but that's a no no you ain't gonna be don't living out here like that like you deserve to be happy everybody deserves to be happy hopefully someday in life she'll find her happiness and maybe she'll look back on this situation and say why the heck did i do all of that that is so embarrassing because you know sometimes when we're doing things we don't think about how it looks we're not thinking about, you know, the consequences. We're not seeing, like, putting two and two together um, until, like, later down the line when we look back and we start reflecting about what it is we did, the actions we took against someone, and then we realize, my gosh, that was so embarrassing. I can't believe I actually did this to this person. Hopefully, this woman is not such an empress in reverse that she's not able to put two and two together. But there's something this woman is doing or has been doing behind the scenes that's very embarrassing. Uh, hopefully, she'll grow out of it. As typically, the empress tend to be mother figures. Uh, could be a wife as well. Um, but there's something really embarrassing that she's been doing. And I don't think she sees it as embarrassing right now. It's going to be like later down the line when she'll sit back and reflect and she'll see how embarrassing it, it was that she went to this far extent to try to block you from being able to move on, try to block you from being happy from, from being happy in life or even trying to destroy another energy for uh, a man, basically. It's what I'm picking up on because she wants... I don't know what this is. She wants you to be stuck with her. There's something where it's that she feels... I, I heard insulted insulted and embarrassed that you are going towards someone else and i feel like this has a lot to do with colorism it has a lot to do with the energy of the person you're going towards they could be young vibrant and you know very intellectual quick witted and things like that maybe fight on the, a bit on the feisty side could be very beautiful showing up in the queen of wands energy as well fiery as can be maybe all of those attributes bothers this empress in reverse um, it's almost like she maybe feels that you're leaving her for a younger energy. You're leaving her for something better. And she knows that the person you're going towards is worth your time. Um, that they are actually genuine. So it's like someone being pissed off because you're not specifically downgrading. You're more so upgrading or doing better. I mean, it's the same thing. You're upgrading when it comes to who you're going to be partnering up with. Because this is someone that has, that has a substance to themselves. This is someone that has self-respect and maybe even has the same values as you do. Or maybe you're working towards having these same values. But what I see is two people just living, when it comes to you in this Empress Reverse, I see you two living different lives. This is one, this is one of those situations where you're living in a house with a woman 
and maybe you're sleeping in the basement and she's sleeping upstairs you don't really talk to each other but when you all go out in public my husband my husband my wife my wife something like that i talk to my husband i talk to my wife but you don't really talk to each other it's like living on two different planets in the world and we've all been through this situation i've even been through a situation like this where i was with someone we lived in the same house and hardly ever talked uh, and we lived like that for a long time and when i finally left that situation lord have mercy i was so happy i was like oh i don't know if i want to date anytime soon i just oh yeah but we all go through those um uh, those situations um, it's not, it's nothing to be embarrassed about, but it's just a matter of how you handle the situation. And I think now that you are trying to tip yourself out of that situation, you don't want to have to pretend to be happy anymore. You actually want to be happy. You could be a, ha a happy bachelor right now. She does not want you to be happy. And it's something that she's going to look back on someday and see how embarrassing it was that she was trying to keep a man trapped with her that does not want to be with her. And that's why I always say don't, always say don't let someone tell you they don't want you more than once. And it doesn't matter the nature of it. I don't think it's something you're doing disrespectfully. I think it's just something where you're ready, ready to move on with your life. And maybe she's not there yet. She's still at the stage of we're going to be together happy or sad or something uh we're going to be together because i said so you ain't leaving me for nobody blah 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 uh i don't know what kind of i don't know what kind of agreement you're in with this woman if you two have some type of business agreement business alliance some type of contract that's holding you two together besides the marriage i don't know what it is maybe there's some type of assets being divided or something like that but you're going to be finding out a lot about what she's been doing, especially when it comes to trying to isolate you and, you know, com uh, uh, confuse you, using family members to confuse you, using friends and colleagues to confuse you, play mind games on you, telling you to just stay where you are, try to make it work. And that's what a lot of people try to do sometimes if you've been in a situation for let's say 20 years, 15 years, 40 years or something, and you've been trying to make it work for a good amount of those years, you can only do that for so long until you really need to sit back and think, am I really able to make it work? Like, have we gone to counseling and the counseling didn't work? Have we talked to each other and the talking is not working? Have we tried rekindling the relationship and it hasn't worked? If all of that has been done, then you really, there's not much you can do, unfortunately. Uh, which is always sad to see, like, marriage is breaking apart. But if you try everything to make the relationship work and it's just not working, you've you got to let it go and you got to let the person go. Holding on to them and trying to keep them stuck is not going to lead to any type of happiness for you. The, the emperor is in reverse. It's like this man is going to hit you for the rest of his life if you don't let go. It's like... The F you keeping me around for? Why would I stay with you? I'm not happy. You're not happy for what? So we can keep pretending to be happy together? I don't want to do it anymore. Like, it's going to turn into something where he hates looking at you. Like, he's repulsed by you or something like that. And that's something, that's a situation you don't want to be in. You wake up every day, you're happy. You go to say hi, hi to a man or a woman and they don't even want to look at you. Something like that. Like, every time you go towards them, this is their energy. Is that the heck do you want? Why are you talking to me? Don't say hi to me. Nothing. Something like that. There could be a situation also that's being looked into. Um, I don't know if there's some type of investigation going on. Um, yeah. <laughs> so what I'm also picking up on is that this woman wants you to juggle whoever it is you're going towards. Is that you're single right now? Uh, and I don't know if you're one of those men that tend to rely on your exes for advice, which is very stupid. And I'm so sorry for my French, but it's very stupid to ask your ex for advice. That's the stupidest thing you can do in the world. This could be a woman that maybe you two have been living separate lives for a long time. And she's used to you dating specific kind of girls, like the girls that don't have any substance to themselves. Uh, so maybe you've been juggling them um for years or something like that this could be somebody else's story i don't know so she may want you to juggle this person that you are interested in sincerely so you're genuinely interested in, in whoever this uh queen of wands in the upright is right this temperance energy she may want you to juggle juggle them 
uh, play mind games with them or play with their emotions and things like that. Like, you know, you come in and, yeah, she wants you to leave them out in the cold, play with them. You know, you come in, uh, spit a good game and things like that. And then all of a sudden, you're like, I want to see other people, or I think we should see other people, or something like that. They just play with them, something like that. That's what she wants you to do. If those are your intentions for this person, don't even bother coming around, because that's like a waste of time. Um, and people are too old out here to be doing this kind of stuff. Like, go find something better to do with your time. It's a waste of energy. Um, as you can see, they're worried. They're all worried. Like, they're trying to figure out a way to stop you from connecting with this woman they're trying to figure out a way to stop you and this person from coming together and this is something that's been going on for a very long time and i don't know if you're just now catching on you a lot of the time sorry man you all tend to catch on a lot later than what you're supposed to about what's really going on around you i don't know if you all live in a cloud or something um but there is something where this woman and her friends maybe your colleagues is what i'm hearing as well Maybe some of your family members as well have been working together to stop you and this person from communicating in any way, form, in any way, shape, or form. It said don't let them email, don't text, don't call, nothing. Any type of communication he sends to her, make sure she does not receive it. Any type of communication she sends to him, make sure um, he doesn't receive it. If this is someone that's familiar with you and they know your energy and they know that you are who they're supposed to be with, someone may even know your number by heart and they probably know how to get a hold of you, but they're not going to reach out to you because maybe they are aware of what is going on due to the fact that people have been taking aggressive actions towards her with that Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords and things like that. That means that people have been taking some type of reckless action against this woman. So even though she may know your number by heart, she ain't gonna call you, text you, or nothing. Ain't gonna email you or nothing because it said, "Why would I? <laughs> why would I go put myself in the fire? I'm already in the hot pot. I didn't put myself in the hot pot, but why would I jump from the hot pot right into the fire? There's something like that. So it's like if they're trying to block communications. If this woman wanted to, and I don't know why I'm hearing that, if this woman wanted to, she could get in contact with you because someone knows your number is what I'm hearing. I don't know why it's that specific. That is crazy. Someone knows how to get in contact with you. You're the one that had to figure out how to get in contact with this woman. And I don't know what it is, why it is that you have difficulties getting in contact with her, or maybe you haven't made any efforts to get in contact with this person uh, because you're wanting this whole situation to be over with before you do that. Um, again, you two could be a gift. Yeah. This is a gift of a relationship. You could be a king of swords. This is a gift of a relationship to you from the most high. Okay, you see that right there? The ace of pentacles or the two of cups, king of swords. This is a gift to you from the most high, this relationship. Okay, and it is going to be very successful, very happy. This is one of those situations where you two are pouring into each other, sharing and things like that. You know that one of those beautiful relationships where like the man and the woman are cooking together, maybe even dancing together, uh, drinking. I don't know what it is you all drink or will be drinking juices or something. <laughs> there goes my inner child. Um, drinking juices or something or water or something. Maybe you drink wine or something. Uh, I don't know what you drink, sir, but you two will be very happy. I see a lot of bounty on here, grapes and things like that. It's going to be a very fruitful relationship. And this is why people are so disappointed, angry, upset, and afraid, right? Afraid um, about you, this emperor, having this new beginning. And you will. Oh my gosh. You got the two of wands to the full. You will. There's something that just takes a lot of discipline on your part so that you can have this victory. Like, you need to be persistent with something. I don't know if you've been trying to get to this person, but you're going to have to be persistent. Uh, don't give up. There's something about endurance. Like, yesterday, and I'm, I guess I'm going to have a little confession. Yesterday, like, I'm going through a lot behind the scenes, you all. Like, I don't know why, who has it out for me like this, but it's literally someone just destroying my platform like when i upload content uh there's something they're doing with the traffic uh on my platform so and there's something they're doing with like my revenue as well so 
it's like i put out content if i get views like the revenue goes down okay like there's someone that just toying with my platform um but yesterday or was it the day before whichever one um i was trying to i was having a conversation with my ancestors and i'm like i don't know if maybe i need to let it go and just you know walk away from it i'm not really into doing that but if i need to then i can let it go maybe you guys have something else figured out for me that i don't know about and you know i go to my mailbox and i pull out my mail and on the letter on the front of the envelope it said endurance so like okay so you all want me to keep going but it's like you know when something is going on and you just don't know why it's happening who's doing it whatever and you're just like i think i know who's doing it but why they're doing it i don't know um it's something like that for me because it's like i don't really bother people i tend to keep to myself you know i don't you know i don't talk to people a lot so it's like the fact that someone is going out of their way to destroy what it is i'm building i think it's the hard part for me because it's that what is your motive what what why are you doing it and things like that is it like to to hurt me or to do whatever it is you're doing um but when i saw that word on their endurance because i literally was having the conversation with my ancestors my uh my spirit team and then i went to the mailbox to get my mail um and the word the first word i saw and that was the only word on their bowl like endurance like this so basically they're telling me like hey we know that it's hard but you need to keep going okay so it could be something like that as well so there's something where it's that it's maybe it's hard to get to this woman that you want to work with or you want to be with but once you get to her you'll be happy that you're going to like something is going to be so fulfilling for you you're going to be regretting the fact that you held on to this uh relationship that you were in before with this empress in reverse like you're going to be seeing things from a higher perspective which is going to make it easier for you to close this chapter out with her and whoever else she's been partner up with and this is going to be your justice this is a decision that's been made in the spirit realm for you to have this ten of cups ten of pentacles situation with this uh queen of wands in the upright that ultimate fulfillment and things like that so you're going to be having some type of new beginning this ten of pentacles is going to be leading to some type of new beginning and someone is disappointed that you're listening to your intuition to give to this person that you're going towards and this is your justice don't let anybody talk you out of your justice you could see this queen of wands as a queen of cups and maybe people don't want you to see that woman as a queen of cups but she is a queen of cups especially with that temperance energy next to her there is something that that's very like angel yeah <laughs> right there uh there's some like it was at the bottom of the deck as soon as i said angelic and yeah um there's very there's something very angelic and innocent about this lady but i feel like she's showing up as a queen of wands because people put that woman in that queen of wands and she also showing up as the queen of swords there's something people had to do typically the queen of the queen of cups which is how you're seeing this woman that you are interested in they're very non-confrontational uh comfort confrontation confrontational lord jesus oh <sighs> confrontational cynthia lord have mercy they're typically not confrontational right they they will avoid problems uh they're not going to go pick a fight with people if you come to them with problems uh as far as drama and things like that they'll try to find like the 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 different the tactful way out of it they don't want to have come back with you and things like that but if you push those energies far enough and long enough they'll come out in a queen of queen of wands queen of swords energy it takes a while for them to get into this queen of swords queen of wands energy but it's something that they do out of necessity not because they want to be in that energy right and if you're not careful enough too they may end up using the darker side of those energies to put you in your place uh, because everybody has a dark side the thing that people tend to forget forget is that the people in the upright choose to act in the upright it's not because they don't have a dark side anymore with that devil out here this woman has a side to her she probably tries to stay away from but people that are constantly in that devilish energy 
they were mistaking that for weakness, right? This is when people mistaking kindness for weakness. This is when people mistaking silence for naivety. Uh, it's none of that. It's just because this person is choosing to stay in that temperance energy. And so when you come to them with problems there, instead of them trying, instead of them being confrontational with you, they're trying to figure out how to avoid having a problem with you. Because one, they, they've already seen the, seeing the situation from a higher perspective or they are analyzing the situation as far as you know what i've had kids if i pop off on this woman i could end up in jail and i need no one's going to be there to take care of my kids oh uh, i gotta go to work tomorrow if i end up popping up on this woman you know i could lose my job then i gotta start all over looking for a job or you know if i blah, 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 this will happen like they're at self-actualizing but people that are insecure not assertive don't understand common sense they will take that as weakness is that oh they don't stand up for themselves they don't do this. it's not that it's that someone has already seen where their situation is going to go if they interact with you the way you want them to interact with you that's why they're not interacting with you they're avoiding you in a sense to keep everybody safe okay um so it's something like that but you your endurance because i keep picking up on that your endurance to this woman is going to lead to ultimate fulfillment for you and this car keeps coming out ultimate fulfillment like the both of you will be very happy together gonna have a lot of jealousy and things like that you do have someone that's a, a, a karmic either a karmic couple toxic people that are paying to cause some type of stalemate for this woman so that she does not achieve something or to block you two from coming together, block options for her. Uh, and I feel like this is something they've been doing for a very long time. Maybe you just haven't been privy to it. But there's a collaboration behind the scenes against you and this woman. But it looks like she's going to be coming out of the cold and stepping into some type of abundance. Hopefully this Empress Reverse doesn't intend on coming to this woman to have some type of war with her. Uh, I, I pray now because that's very much uh, crazy and just mm -mm. And don't come towards her. Why did I just say don't come towards her and the Knight of Cups came out here? <laughs> she may try to come towards this Queen of Wands with some type of fake friendship. Lord have mercy. Man, please don't do that. Don't. This is so embarrassing. I can't don't do it don't do it don't do it <laughs> yeah someone wants you to stay stuck in a, a relationship with them like she wants to be seen as traditional she wants you to see her as something that she's not honestly sir something that she's not that she wants you to see her as traditional. I remember having a dream not too long ago where a woman, not a woman, a man, was trying to, uh, the mermaid dream. It said he came to me to show me that his wife was a traditional woman. So we're underwater and I'm in my realm of the underwater world, wherever the heck it is. Uh, and he comes and he takes my hand and we swim to their chambers and he's trying to tell me come see she's traditional and when we get there this woman has a whole three-way relationship going on in their married marital bed and i'm just like oh yeah she ain't traditional but you know that's where the dream ended where it's like he told me she was traditional we go and find out she's not traditional and uh you know he just kind of went silent and i'm just looking like okay what does it got to do with me like these mermaids are out here playing the whole scene out for you. <laughs> oh, Lord. Like there's some type of confusion going on. And I don't know if it has to do with this woman. There's something she's been doing. Something this woman has been doing. It's like to just keep you from moving on. But she's going to have to move on. Like someone can't keep you in like a divorce proceeding. Uh, forever the kinky. I don't know what this is. Like it's it, it's bothersome. Someone's trying to cause a lot of confusions to you. The court system, families, friends, colleagues. Like she's been causing a whole lot of confusion about the both of you or whatever has been going on. It's not the truth, and she does not want people to find out. 
the truth. You may even have another energy that ends up telling you the truth about what she's been doing behind the scenes. There could be some type of investigation going on within the courts about this woman and what she's been doing, okay? And maybe you don't know, but someone's going to tell you the truth. Someone's going to, oh, and it's going to break your heart. It's going to break your heart. Someone's going to tell you the truth. It's a lot of arguing going on behind the scenes. I, man. Let me hurry up and get up out of this energy. This is very long. Very long. Are you like a leader of a community or something like that? I don't know what this is. But um, someone may just be upset that you are giving to a queen of pentacles. This queen of wands is the same queen of pentacles. Very innovative. Very creative, very uh, uh, multifaceted and things like that. It's the same person. And you may end up communicating with them. You have some type of message you want to give to them. You're going to have to figure out how to get in communication with this woman. There could be something from the courts coming to this woman or coming to you. Since you're the one in the court case or whatever that is. And maybe you want to, I don't know, share with this woman. Or you're trying to send her some type of good news. Or I don't, I don't know. The Page of Cups typically has to do with good news, inspiring news, and things like that. So maybe you want to talk to her and let her know what it is that is going on with you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, people are bothered, sir. People are bothered. I don't know why they are this bothered. This woman has gotten a whole, peop a whole community, group of people, friends, families, colleagues, strangers, frenemies against one person for no reason no reason at all and she don't want people finding out that it's all based on a lie and her insecurities so something is about to be very embarrassing for this woman you could have another woman as well this queen of pentacles who i'm picking up on uh that may be angry out here and i don't know why she's angry but uh because she was the one that took actions to do something that she should not have done it's like it's like a failure to take accountability for your actions and things like that she's angry that someone is taking some type of new direction in life and they're choosing to go and give to another energy but it's like why are you angry it has nothing to do with you it's like people don't understand <laughs> Not everybody in your life is meant to be there forever. Some people are there for a, 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 a season or, and some are there for the rest of your life. But on the average, most people are not there to stay forever, okay? So it don't matter if you've been with someone for 30 years. Those 30 years was all they were supposed to have with you, Okay. Um, you've been with someone for six months and you're in love with them and they decided I want to be with you They were supposed to be with you for six months You can't mend or uh, bend people free will and then expect something good to come out of it So this queen of pentacles is out here angry Which I feel like it could also be this empress that has gone from being like a A, a, a wife mother and things like that to being a single woman or something like that you can't be angry because your contract with someone is over. And that's what people forget. Like, you are here to learn lessons. And we are all, in a sense, playing like... It's like a movie. And this is what people don't understand. You're in a movie, except this one is very realistic. You are playing a role. When your role is over in somebody's life, you got to let them go. It's hard. It's easier said than done. But you got to find that strength to let go and stop trying to hold on to people that you don't have a contract with anymore. Uh, it's like with breakups, since this is something that has to do with a relationship. And we all go through this. When either a guy or a girl breaks up with us, we get angry, we, get, we, go, we go through anger and then get hurt and things like that. And then some people, some men and women... They will transmute that energy into something very toxic and very negative to the point where they think they're supposed to go out and just cause mayhem in that other person's life so that they cannot have a relationship. So they'll be stalking you or have people stalking you so that when they see you trying to connect with anybody, 
they will interfere as soon as you're done talking to that person they'll go and meet them and say you know he's a womanizer you know she uh does this and does that online she sells this, uh, whatever you know um you're, you're you're making a fool out of yourself let people learn to let people go when their contract is over with you especially if you two are not happy together why do you want to put yourself through all of this misery is this someone also i heard a woman i just heard a woman saying i'm smarter than her you're not smarter than anybody you're dumb as can be like whoever whoever this woman is that i'm picking up on you are as clueless as they come this would be like someone that may even have a degree, but don't got two senses to rub together because common sense would have told you to not go to this extent to try to keep a man. You never, tr never try to keep anybody. I don't know how people don't 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 rationalize that. Don't try to keep anybody. If they don't want to be with you, don't don't force it. It's like that saying Medea says. If, if if people want to walk out your life, let them go. People have a reason for that. And I'm not saying that it doesn't hurt. It hurts. We've all been through it. Going through breakups are not easy. Losing somebody you've been with for 20 years, 30 years, it's not something easy. But if the relationship is not happy, why keep forcing it? Why keep trying to live a facade and keep pretending like you're happy for what? For money? Maybe how much money in the world is your happiness? Like, literally, you're buying happiness? It's what that is. Like, how much money is it that you are this stern on keeping a facade? And you are out here hating somebody because of their complexion or because of the way they are. You think you're smart. You ain't smart. It's something about your... You got a mental issue. Because nobody that is smart will go to this extent through all of this trouble to do what it is you've been doing. One to this man and whoever it is that he's trying to go towards. You don't even know that person. So that should already let you know that something is not right with your mental. And you're out here saying that you're smarter than somebody else. You ain't smart. Smart people don't move that way. You got to have some type of self-worth to yourself that when someone say they want to move on, you let them move on. If they're meant to be where they are going, they'll be happy. If they're not meant to be where they're going, they'll learn the lesson that they're meant to learn there. But it's not up to you to decide somebody's path, somebody's uh, destiny, somebody's justice just because you want to be angry and bitter at the end of the day because that's what it has to do with. You're showing up as a goddamn empress in reverse. That's alarming as heck. Empresses aren't supposed to be in the reverse. Because it ain't easy coming to that empress stage. So you did something that put you in that energy to be in the reverse. And you're trying to keep someone from being happy. Trying to keep them from having wish fulfillment. Don't want them to be content in life. You want him out here juggling just being a bachelor. You're crazy. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next ring. Goodbye for now.